Hi everyone, um, in this video I'm going to go over how to uh, sync our Zoom face-to-face -face meeting platform with our Google Calendar in a way that uh, we can both, when we make a, a meeting in Zoom, it will go directly on a Google Calendar or when I go to a, my Google Calendar it will give me an option to um, make a Zoom meeting there and will send all the information out to the, the groups that I choose. In this case, specifically, I want to use Google Calendar because I will sync it with my Google Classroom, which means I can easily send out emails to the students in my class to say uh, or to go onto their calendar when they'll have a meeting. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new browser here. Um, and I'm going to go to Zoom. And I want to log into Zoom. So here's my login. My my school email and I'm got a password there I'm going to sign in and once I've signed in through this the the thing at the top, first thing I'm going to have at the top is profile this tab it's going to be highlighted already and that's the first tab that I, I want to make a change to so I'm going to scroll up or, or scroll down sorry and I'm going to click uh, click on this bit here that, that says connect to calendar and contact service I'm going to click on that and I want to choose a calendar service that I'm going to use with Zoom. That's what it's asking me. So I could use Office 365 or Exchange, but in this case, I've already said I want to use Google. So I want to allow Zoom to get calendar events from there and Zoom to sync contacts. Here we go. Next. Um, it's going to confirm which one of my accounts, my personal one or my school one. I want it to go through uh, with sync with my school account. And now I want to, yes, allow it to have all of this information and be able to send out information. So have a close read of that if you want to, but uh, I'm going to allow it to do that because that's what I want it to do. So now Zoom has the permission to, uh, when I make a meeting in Zoom, to go to my calendar and to put the information on my calendar. But I actually want to do more than that. I want to be able to go to my Google Calendar and then click on a time make a meeting, but then have that um, give me the option of starting a Zoom face-to-face uh, -face meeting then. Uh, that's going to be very helpful to me when I organize my face-to-face -face classes uh, during the shut-in. So uh, to do that, I'm going to click on this next tab called Meeting. And uh, in order to enable this, I need a, an extension on my, on my Chrome browser here. So I'm going to download, it says, save time by scheduling your meetings directly from your calendar. Yeah, I want to do that. So I'm going to download this uh, Chrome extension. So uh, there's information here if you want to scroll down. Um, I've already looked through this a couple of times uh, practicing this video. So I'm going to download or add Chrome, the, the Zoom scheduler to Chrome. Now what that's going to do is this is, uh, once I give it permission to do all the things that it wants to, Yes, I do want it to sync. That means it's when I log on on another computer in another place uh, using this account, it will turn up at the top right, the icon will turn up here on all of my Google browsers. I do want that. That's going to be great. Um, it says it's already in use. I always get this sort of uh, bug here. Um, that's all right. I'm going to switch to Alistair. Uh, wait a minute. Let's get that again. So switch to Alistair. That's fine. I don't know what its problem is here, but um, there we go. It's all done now. So I'm going to close that. Uh, let's open oh, sorry, a new browser. Here we go. I uh, don't know why I keep opening up all these new browsers. But I'm going to now go to my Google Calendar. And this should be my, uh, my work calendar here, my school calendar. And if I right click here, so if I just click on to make an appointment, I've now got this bit here that says make it a Zoom meeting. That's what I want. So now I can go ahead and make an appointment with a Zoom meeting from my calendar. I'm going to do another video on this where I'm going to go over exactly what I need to do to make my Zoom meeting from here. But if you've gone through and followed everything I have in this video, you're all good to go and you're ready to, you know, go out there and make your meetings and have your face-to-face -face classes. Good luck. Um, see you later.